All right, what's going on everybody? So by the title of this video, you may have clicked on it and you may have some kind of preconceived notion or judgment. And so right away, I wanna say this upfront. I'm not here to push some kind of violence. I'm not here to say some extremist view. I wanna provide for you and anchor you on something biblical. I wanna anchor you on something that's reasonable because a lot of people, quite frankly, when they're living this world and you're, you're seeing all the roses and daisies and like just nice things that are happening in your day-to-day -to -day life, you forget about the, cr the craziest stuff, meaning punishment, meaning judgment, meaning various things that in the form of how it is being played out on earth, there is a righteous way to look at it. Same with how God, when he at the end of time, people don't realize this. If you're not a Christian, if you're not uh, susceptible to really understanding what heaven and hell is and the just factor of God, how holy he is and how he must utterly deal with sin. If you don't understand that concept, then everything else is just going to be like, oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to kind of be in the middle for you. And it's just going to get mixed in with uh, a skewed view of who God is. And I'm here to say, first and foremost, that from a biblical perspective, from a godly perspective, that what you do on earth, even if it is the littlest of sin, even if it was just like a small lie or a mistake, in the eyes of God, because he is so against sin that he has to deal with it in such a way that you will be sent to hell for eternity, for the rest of your life. And I'm not here to say that he, uh, God is not a merciful and a gracious God. He is, and that he did not provide a way out of all of this because he did. It's through Jesus Christ that we have salvation. It's through Jesus Christ and, and putting your faith in him and knowing that he atoned for your sins, that you uh, he died and rose again, and he is the ultimate bridge between you and God so that you can be reconciled to him. This is the gospel message. And God, he will deal with this at the end of time, at the end of your life on Judgment Day. And so with that being put to the side, let me tell you something. On earth right now, with societies, governments, militaries, what have you, people that have stood laws, codes of conduct, rules, and order for which you, if you go against that to damage society, to harm the people, then you are committing a crime that is punishable, especially of the highest order. If you commit treason against a country throughout history, throughout time, if you betray your country, if you betray your people group, then that is punishable by death. And this was widely accepted. Now, everybody's sitting here on your couch, you're going uh, to work nine to five, you're, ha you're buying your groceries, you're having fun online, playing games and things like that. And, and the thought of treason, the thought of wickedness against uh, a society, crimes against humanity, against children, against human uh, sex trafficking, betraying your people, going against your word. When you had a responsibility to protect your people, to uphold the laws, to allow the prosperity of whatever stewardship you have over a certain person, if you go against that, then that is punishable by death in many countries. And I'm here to say something the treason that has happened, the crimes that have happened, the betrayal that has happened, this is not going to go unnoticed, not only by the Lord, but also by the people, the good people who are still, whether you want to call them patriots, whether you want to call them people that are for the country, the good guys, the white hats, whatever you want to call it, in this society, you have to hear me loud and clear, in this society, when you go against all the people, the innocent people of the world, when you're killing uh, innocent lives, whether it's babies, whether it's uh, from medicine, from uh, devious uh, acts, wh whatever uh, happens, right? And I'm not here to talk about what's going on behind the scenes. I'm telling you the concept of and, and opening your mind up to, to this in the future because a lot of people, they're going to get angry because they don't know the story of what went on, what they did. And I'm here to, to open your mind, to warm you up and tell you that, yeah, I'm not against innocent lives being shed. I'm not here to push violence in these different, in these different things. But I'm here to tell you that when certain things become punishable by uh, death, when it becomes known, when there's evidence that is poured out against you, you cannot plead the fifth. You can't sit there and act innocent. You can't do anything else because you made that crime and you allowed that to happen. And the, these people will be brought to justice. So I'm not here to scare you, I'm not here to put fear in you. I'm here to allow you to remember the justice of God, the wrath of God, and that appropriately in society today, however that is being uh, conducted through courts, right, through military tribunals, through whatever means for which there's a just way, 
God is pleased by that in the way that it's being played out in society today. I'm not here to say it's perfect, but I'm here to say that because they have a because people have a mindset of dealing with sin, to deal with crimes, that the way it's being done here on earth, in a country, in a society, in a courtroom, these things are pleasing and right before the Lord. And sadly, because they did not repent, they did not cooperate and work with the right people to bring justice to maybe other players, to other people that they had worked with, accomplices, whatever it is, these things, sadly, is not going to go well for them. And for many people, because they did not uh, repent, nor did they accept Christ, they are going to hell. So I'm here to tell you that these things exist. These rules, these orders exist. And even though you may have lived your entire life and you have not seen mass amounts of people be convicted, mass amounts of government, high-level, high-ranking officials be condemned and punished, doesn't mean it will not happen. These things will be dealt with. So I'm here to warm you up, to open your mind and mindset to seeing the feasibility of what is going on. And so, again, don't be surprised. Don't be worried. Don't be concerned. Don't be in fear. But be ready. You have to know that God does not like sin and he has to deal with it, whether it's on this earth, in this lifetime, or afterwards. And so just want to encourage you guys with this, the justice, the wrath of God, all of this is coming. So God bless you guys. Love you guys. Talk to you guys very soon.